Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to create a Django web application in DigitalOcean. So DigitalOcean is a cloud hosting solution just like AWS, GCP and Azure. But if you have limited budget and still you want quality hosting which can handle millions of traffic, then DigitalOcean is the one for you guys. Now, in order to create Django web application, few things you have to do prior to following this video first thing first you have to create your web application in your local desktop and test it uh, thoroughly and then you'll have to upload it to github because in this video we will use digital oceans app functionality to host or the create the django application in digital ocean now if you want to create wordpress website then i already have a video in my channel i will put a link in the card section you're going to click on that and follow to create wordpress website in digital ocean so without any further delay let's go to my system desktop and see how to create django web application in digital ocean here i am with my desktop screen first of all you will have to go to your github account and do few modification before we upload it to digital ocean so first thing first you will have to go to your settings.py file in settings.py file you'll have to make sure that allowed host is basically you have set it to your website now i have put star mark to allow every host now second thing you will have to do is that you will have to create a static root file otherwise when we deploy this particular uh, web application in digital ocean it's going to fail now second thing what you have to do you'll have to create a requirements.txt file now requirements.txt file basically holds all the libraries that you need to run your django application now along with every library you need you also have to add g unicorn library in your requirements.txt file once you do that save the changes and let's go back uh, to the digital ocean now i have given the link of uh, the digital ocean in my description so using that you will be able to get hundred dollar of credits which is valid for 60 days so you can use that and uh, after using that only you will be charged now once you click on that uh, link you will be routed to a page like this first of all you will have to complete the sign up process so during the sign up process you will also be asked to provide your credit card or debit card information so few amount will be charged from your account but immediately it will be reversed back so don't worry about uh, that now once you complete uh, the registration process and uh, login then you will be able to see a page like this now left hand side you will see option called new project basically let's uh, create a new project so new project will help you to segregate uh, your website into different categories now first of all name your project i will just give it django you can name anything now tell us what it's for so just click on this and based on your requirement you can select any one of them in our case we are going to use a web application so let's select that click on create project now move resources into django project skip for now there is no need for that now once you create a project left hand side you will be able to see an option called manage now here you will be able to see a option called apps click on that now click uh, create app now select the service provider for your source code we have our code in github but if your code is in any other uh, service provider you can select that so we have our code in github so we will select github and then we will have to select uh, repository so here i am able to see two repositories but if you are not able to see anything then edit your github permissions so click on this edit your github permissions provide your password for github account click confirm and here under repository access you will be able to see all the repositories or only selected repositories so once you provide permissions from here you will be able to see it in digital ocean so let me just select another repository click on save and uh, automatically it will be redirected to digital ocean 
console now again select on this repository and you will be able to see the repositories that you have provided permission so here let me select the demo django and i want to select master branch and source directory it's optional auto deploy so every time an update is made to this branch your application will be redeployed so anything that you modify in github then automatically this will be reflected in this web app so this is good to enable this uh, option now click on next now here we'll have to select on edit plans so plans basically will tells you how much amount of money will be deducted for this web application so i am going to select uh, basic now under basic we have a few plans so i will select the basic uh, that is 5.0 dollars per month now here you will have to click on back and now you will be able to click on next you can also give global variables and uh, any variables that is related to your projects but i will click on uh, next and uh, here it is region if you want to select any other region then then just click on edit and you will be able to see all the region that is available for digital ocean so i just want to cancel it now i can click on uh, next now you can see an edit uh, button here just uh, click on that so here we will have to provide a uh, few run command option so here here it is and uh, now just click on uh, edit and here you will have to provide your wsgi file now my file is under demo django so i'm giving the name demo django ws gi now in your case it may be different make sure you provide uh, the correct uh, path here and click on save now you can go back by clicking the back button and uh, you can review all the options that you have provided and uh, you can click on create resources so the app has been created but uh, in backend it will deploy many things so first of all it will install all the libraries now if you want to see what is happening in the back end then uh, click on go to build logs and here you will be able to see whatever is happening in the background so it's usually takes couple of uh, minutes so i will just pause this video and uh, once it is complete i will come back now it is showing build complete now you can see the status has been gone to deploying and now it is waiting for service so many things will happen in background so you just have to sit tight and uh, wait for it to complete now everything is finished and you can see a tick mark uh, here so the application is uh, completely installed now you can uh, click on this live app to see your application now here is the url for your web application and this is the site that i have uh, created so it's basically a very minimal web application which says home page of django app but in your case definitely it will be much more than that now come back to the console and here you can go to an option called console so basically here you will be provided a cli and here you will be able to run the commands which supposed to be applicable for your project now for example if you want to create the database then uh, python manage.py and uh, migrate is the command that you want to execute and uh, it will basically create all the tables in your database now if you want to create a super user then uh, python manage.py create super user and uh, this will create a super user for you now give it any super user that you want for example admin and give a password sorry email address uh, for this so i'm just giving some uh, random uh, email address now password also you can give anything that you want now again it is asking password and the password has been and the username and password has been created so anything you want through cli then you will have to come back to console and uh, perform it now the web application is ready but uh, we want to add a domain name so for that what you have to do is that click on this action button and click on manage domains now manage domains here is the one that section and click on edit here and click on add domains so add domains is basically will help you to add a custom domain and uh, user will be able to put that in browser and they will be able to access your website so i have a domain from uh, name Jeep. so let me just uh, type that and uh, once you do that you will see additional option we manage your domains or you 
manage your domain so basically in this case we will select we manage your domain so you will be able to see few name server which belongs to digital ocean and these name server you have to add in your domain provider so let me just copy one and go to back to my name chip dashboard and here is my domain and uh, you need to click on manage and you should be in a domain section go a little bit down and here name server you will have to select a custom dns and then add the digital oceans name server here so you can see ns1.digitalocean.com ns2.digitalocean.com so these are the two name server once you do that so basically you are done from this uh, domain provider site and then you can go back to your digital ocean console and click on add domain now a new domain has been added to your application so again it will uh, do some uh, deploying and building in backend and now if you will go little bit uh, down and click on uh, edit with respect to domains you will be able to see the status here that is pending so here it is showing pending because uh, the name server applications usually take 72 hours but uh, here you have to at least wait for 15 to 20 minutes or sometimes even half an hour and after that only your website will be visible so just wait for some time and uh, this pending status will be converted into active and then try to access your websites so let me just wait for a couple of minutes and i will come back when the status uh, is in active state so now it's became the active state it usually took around 15 minutes for this state to become active now you can click on this uh, domain name and it, you will be able to see your application now here not secure is there https is not showing so wait for a few more uh, minutes and this https will become active because DigitalOcean provides a free SSL certificate so you don't have to buy or uh, configure anything else to get uh, the SSL uh, certificate here just wait for a few more minutes and this HTTPS certificate will work as expected so this is how you create a Django web application in DigitalOcean so let me know if you have any question then I will try to answer it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video i upload in my channel you will get a notification immediately